Hello, this is Davide Biocchi speaking and this is my weekly intermarket analysis. Let's start with the euro dollar that still is in the, um, let's say, sideway that uh, is uh, uh, 5.7 figures from 1.05 to 1.107 and uh, especially during the last period moved around this uh, average uh, of the big uh, uh, sideways. So, the market is around the level of 1.07 and today 1.078 seems uh, uh, the market is going to go again in favor of the euro. So let's see if it will be able to break this uh, congestion uh, that we have seen during the last days and then maybe to move towards the price of 1.10. Uh, this, uh, all this, uh, let's say, movement, uh, well, probably will uh, continue, especially after the Federal Reserve decision on Wednesday, after the inflation tomorrow, and after the uh, ECB decision on um, uh, Thursday. So let's see what is going to happen. It seems to be a decisive week for this currency spare that recently has gone into a very small and thin volatility. Something that uh, is really happening also for the commodities and for the uh, uh, stock indices, like we can see here. So previously, the crude oil was in a sideway, $10 in between 82, uh, 72 to $82. And recently, it moved into another uh, more thin uh, sideway that has a support here around uh, $64, but is in between the level of uh, 78 and uh, uh, the $4 in between 78 and, and uh, sorry 68 and 72 so this is more or less where the market is now could it be able to reach again the previous range it could happen uh, but for the moment it seems to go down so let's see if uh, we will see again a test of the area of 64 dollar dollars per barrel um, similar situation also for the gold previously the trading range was one 1980 to 2060 but right now we are in a different situation so we have right now uh let's say the process that sees the price in between the level of 1930 to the level of 1980 and the market is moving up and down in between this level so as you have seen also in the commodities environment we have the very thin volatility and the market is going that way if we switch to the stock indices, especially the European one, the situation is very similar. The market is really thin and flat and it's moving up and down this level. Will it be the moment for the DAX to go and test again the previous uh, all-time high? Well, it could happen, but I think that uh, uh, this will not uh, uh, take place before the decision of the Fed, before the decision of the uh, ECB, and also before the triple witches that we can see next Friday with the uh, expiry day for futures and options on stock indices and, and on stock and, uh, indices. So this is very relevant and we have three big market mover plus the inflation tomorrow. And this is what the market, I, I expect the market to gain a little bit more volatility, but unfortunately for the moment, it's not yet. Uh, back to the market. Similar situation, uh, a similar situation we had on the Eurostock 50, quite similar to the uh, DAX. The market is really flat, and uh, let's see if we can find something more interesting. For what concerning the US indices, uh, the first one uh, uh, is uh, the NASDAQ, and the NASDAQ is uh, uh, at the top, let's say. And uh, we can assume as a potential target the level that we can easily see here around 15,300 that we can uh, expect the market to reach if this moment will continue. The level here work as a main support, but we also have a level of support here at very short term. So we have support number one and support number two. Let's see what the market will uh, uh, continue to offer us and uh, if it will be able to move. Uh, even if during the last week we have seen more, let's say, interest on the uh, 
other stocks that are not part of the IE, uh, AI environment and let's say the mega cap. I mean, the market went buying some um, non-cyclical stock that were, let's say, more sold recently. So let's see what is going to happen. And that's why we have seen also the uh, S&P 500 moving above the very relevant uh, uh, resistance around uh, 4,200 and being right now around the level of 4,300. That is the main resistance and the other level up there is really very interesting. Will the market be able to go about that? Well, again, I think that we have to expect more volatility if inflation will tell us something, if the decision uh, of the uh, Federal Reserve will be let's say, as expected, so uh, let's say the operators are expecting the Fed to leave the uh, interest rate unchanged, so let's see what is going to happen. Then we will have the ECB on Thursday um, seeing increasing the interest rate to 4%, and then on Friday, finally, we will have the triple witches day. So let's see what is going to happen, and it's really interesting. It will be an interesting week hoping that, uh, uh, let's say, a little bit more volatility will come back. So this is all from Italy. This is all from Davide. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.